Hello, and welcome back to another Zero Linux video. This is going to be a, quite a different type of video. It's a talking head. So if you want to minimize and just listen, go right ahead. Or stare at my face talking, because mainly it's just I need to clarify a few things. If you don't know who I am already, I'm Dark Zero, the creator and founder of a, dis a small little distribution out there called Zero Linux. An arch based distribution. The team is comprised of four, four people. Mainly Kia Disa, who created the uh, build script called ABS slash Abu. Teddy Gamer King. Both these people are responsible for rising and GUI consistency work. And me. So. With that out of the way, I need to explain a lot. First things first, what is Zero Linux exactly? Zero Linux is an Arch-based distribution, community Arch-based distribution, that is not supposed to, uh, what it is, sorry, uh, that uh, stands out of your way, allows you total free gives you total freedom to shape it your way the easy way that's what it is what it is not is a copycat distro that tr uh, tries to become uh, like manjaro like arco linux like endeavor os etc 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 it's not trying to be any of those or to beat them it's not a competition here. We do this for fun and for learning purposes. Examples. Zero Linux does not, off, uh, does not contain uh, any firewall application, no office suite, no download managers, no uh, social media clients. None of that. Why, you may ask? Well, it's quite simple. I, give you, I leave the choice up to you. If I include Plasma Firewall, because it's part of KDE on Plasma, maybe you prefer GU, GFUW or GUFW or FireJail. Who am I to force Plasma Firewall on you? You'll, you'll just end up removing it and replacing it with the one you prefer. <laughs> Same thing with Office Suites. Like, if I include LibreOffice and you prefer OpenOffice or FreeOffice, you're going to end up removing uh, LibreOffice and replacing it with the one you prefer. No, that's not the way Zero Linux do, uh, does things. We do things, we don't include anything out the outside the box. Out the box. We, however, we do include a way to install your favorite applications via our tool. So that's what I meant by it stays out of your way. So that is what Zero Linux, uh, that's Zero Linux ideology. But that, that doesn't mean that we're not going to grow in other areas. Our beloved uh, human, uh, Kiadisa, who created, like I said earlier, the Abu, uh, ABS script, which allows us to build Zero Linux, uh, came up with, uh, with a lot of ideas that we can implement. But I need to talk about the growth of Zero Linux. Zero Linux, if we remain as a team of four, cannot grow very fast. We need, the, the code is online, on GitHub, as it all has always been. We need people ready to join the team on a permanent basis, if possible, uh, to help the, the, the distribution grow in other areas, in, a, in different areas, like security, 
like uh, optimizations like uh, Wayland, for example, which I cannot use currently because I'm on Nvidia and I have tried everything. So please don't you don't use the comment section to tell me that Wayland is uh, working. Maybe it's working for you on Nvidia, but I know for a fact that it doesn't work for me. I've tried everything. So it could be my hardware not compatible or something. I've tried all the guys that exist online to no avail. But I did write a script that I included in uh, the Zero Linux tool that will allow you to test. It's experimental. And it warns you three times before you go ahead and apply it. And it tells you that if, uh, if you apply it, I will not be able to provide any support because I myself cannot use it. But uh, I, I, I went uh, besides the point. Zero Linux needs to grow. It needs a lot of people to allow it to grow in unique, different unique areas. But now I want to talk about expectations. Do not expect Zero Linux to solve all your problems. <laughs> like, like uh, I said in a, in a post on my private blog, I am not a developer. And I will link that, uh, that post uh, in the video description below. I am not a developer by any means. I am just a person who understands more than the average Joe, a little bit, a little bit more than the average Joe, to be able to put puzzle pieces together. I m mostly do copy-paste from different uh, distributions, there are different tools and different things, different areas, and I optimize them to work on Zero Linux. And I let you in on a secret. Sometimes, for some of my scripts, when I'm in no, uh, in no shape to, to Google search, I use ChatGPT. Yeah, that's far, how far I go. I'm not a developer. I, I barely can write a sentence, a, a, a command in, in a bash script, let alone a complete bash script. So please, don't expect me to solve all your issues. That's why we have the community on Discord. So if you need any help, feel free to join our Discord link in the description. And my colleagues will try their best to help you when they can, wherever they can. The places, the, the areas where I, I can help is when it comes to the rices, to the config, uh, the out-of-the-box config. But other than that, like Latidoc, uh, like, uh, uh, how to change wallpapers, uh, K-Win effects, uh, stuff like that. I can help with that because that's <laughs> what I do mostly. Other than that, when it comes to configuring different applications, fonts, uh, uh, like uh, why is this application uh, is ha why is this application having issues with fonts because it's Electron and whatnot? I don't know. I barely use a couple of applications. I use Vivaldi. I use Ferdium for my, my social media. I use uh, OBS to go live for the podcast and to record this video. And, that, and I use Sublime Text to cre or Kate to create my bash scripts. That's all I use. And Terminal, of course. Vivaldi for my browser. That's all I use. So I don't have all the answers. I will rarely have the answers for you. So don't be surprised if you hear, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know from me even though I'm the creator. It doesn't, uh, to create a distro, you don't need to be a developer. So, yeah, that's the reality. So yeah, that is what Zero Linux is and who I am and who, the uh, who, who is the Zero Linux team and what to expect from the distro. Now, there are a lot on the, ser uh, on, the ser on the Discord server who made their feelings felt that I am artificially limiting Zero Lin Linux's growth. I am not, by any stretch of the imagination. What I said from the get-go when I created Zero Linux was the following. Zero Linux is not supposed to be any or mimic, it's not supposed to mimic any distro out there. 
it's supposed to be a simple distro and I have reached the goal of it being simple. And I'm not allowing people to come in and help out. Like I said earlier, we are looking for people to help out. I am willing to accept anything, but there is a catch. Without changing the core ideology of zero Linux. Some people say change sometimes is re uh, sometimes required in order to grow. Not for zero Linux. I am not ready or willing to change the core ideology of zero Linux. We can include new features, security-based features or visual features or other features, whatever they may be, without changing the core uh, ideology. So. If, though, uh, if you are one of those people thinking that I am artificially limiting its growth because I don't want to change uh, the core ideology, you're free to have your opinion. Let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to hate on you. Don't, I, Zero Linux is made out of people, comprised of people that will never judge you or be negative to you because you have a, certain, a, different, uh, a different opinion. That's what makes us individuals, individuals. We all have our individual opinion. We, we love op uh, opinion, shared opinions. We welcome them. So, no, I am not artificially limiting, and I will never artificially limit the growth of Zero Linux. When it comes to financial support, yes, my situation is a, a very sensitive one. Because I'm from Lebanon, and the, uh, there's a video that explains everything that I'll link also in the video description. It's already uh, embedded on the SPINS website. But other than that, I need your financial support more than ever. If, if you want to see Zero Linux uh, continue living, I need to make money somehow. I am without a job currently, and I have been for the past three years. So there is no income for me to pay the bills. So if you can, and I'm not forcing you. If you can, and you have, uh, uh, and you love zero Linux, of course, I'm not asking you to. I won't ask you to uh, to f support me financially if, if you're not using zero Linux. But if you are using zero Linux and you love what I'm doing, please, the links are in the description below. You can uh, support me financially on Patreon monthly, on uh, Ko-Fi also monthly, or one time, whatever you wish. Uh, and Libera Pay, and there's another one I forgot. A fundraiser. You got four ways to support me financially. Whichever you prefer, use. And I'm talking about also my colleagues, Kadisa and Teddy. If you can support any of us three financially, that'll be super, super great. Uh, but if you can't, the way you can support the project is spread the word around that we need people to to, to help us grow or spread the wor word around to get more people to use Zero Linux. I'm not recommending that people, uh, beginner uh, Linux users, to hop directly to Zero Linux. Zero Linux is based on Arch. And Arch on its own is not for the beginner user. For beginner users, I would recommend Debian or Debian with GNO. Yeah, I'm not, you heard that right. I'm not recommending Linux Mint like everybody does. It's old now. It's, it's, it, it's been said, it's been repeated. Linux Mint, not perfect. In my eyes, Debian or Debian with GNO. Perfect combination. Debian is super stable, solid. And GNOME is even more solid. I'll go uh, even further to say that Wayland is uh, only uh, stable on GNOME. If you want to use Wayland without any issues whatsoever, you should be on GNOME. That's my point of view. Again, your, uh, your point of view might be different. But yeah, so I have said my piece, who I am, what Zero Linux is, expectations, financial support, and so on. If you need any help with Zero Linux, find us on our Discord. Uh, download it from our official website, zerolinux.xyz or spins.zerolinux.xyz for the spins. The spins, it's donation for the ISO, or you can build 
build them for free because the code uh, is free on GitHub. But if you feel you're not up to it, you can download the ISOs after you support us, uh, after you donate any amount, starting from five bucks, because that's the minimum that Ko-Fi uh, has. But yeah, what else can I say? I've said my piece. Uh, if you are willing to join the team and help the, the distro grow in, all the, uh, in many unique areas, contact me on Discord. I'm always on Discord. Always. Almost 24-7. I barely sleep. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Ring the bell to get notified whenever I upload a video. If you want to join the channel and support us financially via YouTube, you can join the channel and get access to Zero Talk, where I interview different people for, from the Linux uh, realm. Uh, or super thanks. Anything would go a long way. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you on the flip side, I guess. Peace.